Module 4, Segment 2, Adding Vendor Quotes. In this training segment, you will identify a potential vendor for parts that you do not have in stock in preparation for quoting a customer. Send a request for a quote to the vendor. Record the vendor's response. Select the vendor you wish to purchase from and apply the selected vendor cost to the customer quote. Please note that this session assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1, 2, 3, and Module 4, Segment 1. We will begin by opening a customer quotation that was previously prepared. Select the Customer Quotation icon arrow and select Browse. The Find for Browsing Customer Quotes window opens. To locate the existing quote, type in the quote number and select OK. A browser opens listing the quotes that match the number you typed. To select the quote, double-click anywhere on the line. The Customer Quote window opens. Highlight the part that you need to source and select the Vendor Action button. The Vendors for Item window opens. Select the Add Action button to insert a vendor. The Adding Vendor window opens. Any previous vendor quote and purchase history displays in the two lower panels. If you wish to get a more recent quote from a vendor listed in either of the history panels, double-click on the vendor of choice. If you wish to select a vendor not listed in either of the history panels, click on the Code button to search for another vendor. Type the vendor name in the Company Name field and select OK. The Browsing Company Entries window opens, listing all companies that match the name you typed. When the vendor is found, double-click anywhere in the line to select that vendor. Select OK to add the vendor to the line item on the quote. Close the browser to return to the quotation. We are now ready to print the RFQ document. To print the RFQ to vendor, select the Global Action button. The Global Options window opens. Select RFQ to vendor. The Request for Vendor Quote Settings window opens. This window allows you to change the appearance of the printed RFQ with options such as the information to print on the RFQ, spacing, and font size. If you wish to make any changes to these settings, select Edit. The options as set here will print to all vendors with a preview before printing. From the Edit screen, select OK. To generate the RFQ, select Print. The Print Preview window opens. Click the Printer icon at the top of the preview to send the document to the printer. Click Close to return to the Quotation window. When you receive a response from the vendor, you will want to enter that information into the vendor quote. Highlight the part and select the Vendor Action button. The Vendors for Item window opens. Highlight the vendor on the browser and select Edit to open the vendor quote. The Editing Vendor for Item window opens. Type in the number of items the vendor has available, the condition, the cost, and the delivery terms Select OK to save the information. Repeat this process for every response you received. Review the costs, delivery, conditions, and other information relevant to your procurement decision. Once you decide who you will purchase from, highlight the vendor and click the Select Action button. This places a checkmark in the flag column 
indicating this is the vendor and costing you wish to use for this part. When you close the browser to return to the quote, a confirmation window opens, asking if cost to your customer should be recalculated based on the vendor you have selected. Click Yes to apply the cost. We can now see the costs applied to the line items on the customer quote. To recap what we learned in this session, we opened an existing quote, added a vendor for sourcing, and printed an RFQ to send to a vendor. We then recorded the vendor's responses to the quote, selected the vendor we wish to purchase from, and applied the vendor cost to the customer quote. You may now proceed to Module 4, Segment 3, Quoting the Customer.